A week ago, we were gripped by the harrowing CCTV footage of a young black man being brutally detained by police officers in an East London shop. 20-year-old Russian Charles was body slammed and headlocked by police officers, shortly after which he died. In the wake of this incident, there are two important questions we must ask. The first is about the media coverage. Why was the story dropped so quickly by the mainstream media? Brief details were given and then it disappeared. And we have to ask ourselves, would that coverage have been different had the victim been white? Too often, we've seen black people's deaths dismissed without a second thought and efforts made to justify their deaths before details even surface. When the victims are black, we see mugshots, we hear about criminal records and violent tendencies. It's not okay and we need to call out the mainstream media on their bias. The second is police brutality and institutional racism. We don't know the full details yet, but what we do know is that there are discrepancies between the footage that we all saw and the official story. And it wouldn't be the first time that police have used excessive and disproportionate force against black and ethnic minority people. Just a month ago, Edson da Costa died after police contact, and in 2012, Sarah Reed was brutally assaulted by a police officer which left her with two broken ribs. Since 1990, there have been 1,500 deaths in police custody or shortly after police contact. That is a number we should all be outraged by. And imagine how much higher that number would have been if British police were armed the way they are in the US. So when they talk about increasing the number of armed officers on our streets as they currently are, we need to resist. We need to ensure that we get answers about what happened to Russian Charles and quickly. We need to be vocal and persistent in fighting for justice. There can be no cover up of the facts. We need to say loud and proud that black lives matter.